All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be showing off some of these new military style rugged cases that were sent to me from the company Armadillo Tech. This is their Vanguard series style case for the Samsung Galaxy S21. If you want to buy these after watching this video, you can get these on Amazon with Prime shipping. Uh, the prices are a little bit different depending on the color. So if you want to get the white, black, or orange, they are $15.98 currently. And for whatever reason, the purple and red are $22.98. So you can follow my affiliate links down in the description, which will give you up-to-date pricing. So if the other colors drop to the other colors prices, then you will be able to tell. Um, so let's go ahead and take a peek real quick at the packaging. So as far as the packaging goes, it's pretty simple. Uh, you have a clear front here where you can see the actual case. It does say Case Born Armadillo Tech Vanguard Series, and it does say Wander Further With Us. Might be hard to see with the black border of the case there. And the true theme of these cases are military style, rugged style cases. So you have a picture of some military gentlemen there, uh, somewhere, maybe Afghanistan or Iraq or something like that. Uh, on the side here, military grade protection. On this side, armadillotech.com. Nothing really at the bottom. And then on the back, it does have a little bit of a breakdown about the Vanguard series, but it does let you know that the case is shockproof, dropproof, dustproof, and scratchproof. And it does exceed or meet US military standard drop testing. So on Amazon, it actually does say uh, that it does up to 21 feet. So that's a pretty bold claim. Unfortunately, I'm not bold enough to test that on my S21 since my only one, uh, but let's go ahead and get these out of the packaging. All right, that's better. So what you get inside is this little card here. So it says armadillotech.com, legendary protection from Texas. And it's kind of an accordion style type of thing. So you have an installation video guide here. So you can go to armadillotech.com for that. Uh, and then here you do have a kickstand setup since the cases do have a kickstand on it, but pretty simple instructions there. It does say thank you from Dallas, Texas, which Dallas and Frisco are kind of one and the same almost. And then it does say before returning the product, please contact them. So they do want to make sure you give them a shout and a try to fix whatever issue you might need to resolve. And then kind of a little thank you there as well. So as far as the cases go, this is what you get here. So I'm going to stick with the white one at the beginning of this video. I will show you what all the cases look like on my Phantom Gray S21 here. But let's go ahead and take a peek real quick at the interior of the case. So it does say separating front casing from rear case. So you do have that little spot there where you are able to kind of lift and pull it apart because it is a dual layer case. As you can see inside, you do have this kind of honeycomb style pattern inside of there. This is where the kickstand is gonna be coming through. Uh, so my only kind of gripe would be is I wish the kickstand portion here would kind of match this rubbery material instead of it being the hard plastic because this is what your phone's going up against. But I have seen a lot of cases that do that regardless. Uh, as you can see here, you can see all these little white dots and that's kind of where the uh, casing matches up with the actual rubbery part here. So that's kind of where it all connects. You do have armadillotech.com um, branding inside there. So like I said, you do have to kind of separate the edges here to be able to pull this uh, first uh, frame or the interior frame out of the actual um, outer shell there. So as you can see, it is a dual layer. It's kind of hard to see with this white table, but uh, you can tell that it is a plastic frame that your phone goes in and then it just uh, connects inside of there. So let me go ahead and grab the S21 and slap that bad boy in. So the way to do this is obviously match up the buttons with the side that has the cutouts there and you just connect that in there like so and then literally just pop it in you know so nothing really special about that you just want to make sure it just snugs in nice and tight and there we have it so there is the actual phone installed in the case so as you can tell you do have a hard back it kind of has that rugged style look with the different types of textures uh, on the back there, uh, you do have these kind of like faux bolt looking things there to kind of give it more of that rugged look. Uh, you do have your kickstand there with easy access to it. Just get my fingernail under there and boom, you just kind of click it into place there. Um, as you can tell, you do have a really nice cutout for the camera bump here and it is recessed in there very nicely and very deep. 
So your lenses are gonna get some excellent protection uh, with this case. And as you can tell, it does have a pretty nice little style cutout there. So it gives you the true beauty of the S21 camera bump. And then it also does have a nice little uh, half circle cut out there for the actual flash. On the sides here, you can tell you do have this really nice texturized pattern. Uh, almost looks like tire treads right there. You do have uh, your volume up and down and power buttons are raised. So as you can tell there, and they do have a really nice texture to them as well. It might be hard to see in the video, but it does have a plus and minus there on the uh, volume up and down button as well but very, very grippy on those sides there. And as you can tell there, it does have some reinforced corners and that's gonna also help with uh, bump protection and drop protection. Uh, so it's gonna help dissipate the energy away from the device itself. You do have some really nice little cutouts down here. So you have a nice chunky cutout for the speaker. And then as you can tell there, you do have one single cutout uh, for the mic. And then you do have that flap style that covers the port to get the dust and you know, lint or anything inside of the, uh, the USB-C port there. But you have easy access to it, but you do have to flap it down and stick in your charger right there. So that is one thing to point out is it is a pull down, not pull up. So that is just something sometimes people care to know. And it does go in very easily and it does have a little bit of a lip there to easily pop that out. And then as you go to the side here, uh, you can see that it does have that continuation of that really cool tread pattern there. And it does say Vanguard right there as well. So very minimal branding. And then at the top, you do have two dedicated cutouts for the mics up top. Now it does not have a built-in screen protector on this particular case. Uh, they do point that out quite a bit on the website for Amazon and also even on the back of the packaging of the case. Um, but you do have a really cool two-tone look here. Uh, so you have that white border and then of course the black outer TPU part right here that's gonna be matching up to it. Uh, you do have a very generous little single cutout there uh, for the actual speaker grill. And as you can see on the front too, nice lips all around the whole entire front of the device. So your screen is going to be protected. It is screen protector friendly as well. Uh, so that is something also to point out. Now let's go ahead and check the wobble and see if it shakes from the front or the back. So as far as the front goes, there is no shake at all. It is completely flat. And then as far as the back goes, let's see if there's any shake back there. So the back definitely is gonna have some shaking going on there. And that's obviously just because of how deep that cutout is. So it is gonna definitely shake a lot on the back, but on the front, nothing at all. So now let's go ahead and do the actual a uh, couple of different tests that I like to do with this. So one, let's do our clicky button test. So let's see how clicky the volume uh, up and down buttons are and the power button. So let's start with the power button first. And volume up and down. All right, so big thumbs up. Very, very clicky button. So if you are someone that likes clicky buttons, this passes with flying colors. So the next thing I'm gonna do is the actual Qi wireless charging test. So I've got my Qi wireless charger here. So let's go ahead and slap that on and see how that performs. So as you can tell, it is Qi wireless charging compatible. Uh, it does uh, obviously say there that it is wirelessly fast charging with this case with my uh, particular Qi wireless charger that I have here. So definitely passes that test. And then the next test I like to do is actually do the wireless power sharing test where you can go into settings and then go down to uh, battery and then click battery there and then do the wireless power sharing and turn that on. And what I like to do is show off and see if that actually will wirelessly charge my devices. So I have my iPhone 12 here, so let's go ahead and slap that on. Hmm. All right, with this test so far, it is not uh, wirelessly power sharing with my iPhone 12. Let's make sure this is turned on, which it is. So let's go ahead and flip that back over and let's try that again. All right, so I like to do that test because it is not wirelessly power sharing with my iPhone 12. And that is something that I like to point out, guys, because obviously it is Qi Wireless charging compatible, 
but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's automatically going to wirelessly power share with devices. Not a big deal. I don't personally wirelessly charge things with my phone in the first place because uh, it's not efficient, but it is something to point out with this test. And then the next thing we're gonna test is the kickstand. So as far as the kickstand goes, as you can see in the video, uh, you can do it um, basically with portrait. You can do it with portrait or landscape mode. So pretty easy, you just literally click it open, make sure you have it pushed all the way, and then you are able to set it up or have it sitting in portrait or landscape mode. So that is something that's pretty nice with uh, phone cases. Getting that kickstand there, as you can see here, uh, I think is a really big uh, plus um, because yeah, I mean, people like to watch videos on their phones and sometimes not have to lean it up against something. So kickstands are nice. So now let's go ahead and put on the, um, let's do purple case. So there's purple. So looks pretty good. Um, it is more of like a lilac kind of purple. So it's not like a deep purple, which uh, the sides are, but you can see kind of the different colors uh, of purple. But I'll go ahead and just kind of show it to you real quick. The bottom there, the sides. And then of course the front, which has kind of that two-tone purple color. And now let's do orange. And there's orange. So as you can see, you have a very bright orange with the gray sides here. And then of course the faux bolt buttons. The faux bolts are gray as well to kind of give that different color contrast. There is what it looks like with the camera bump. There's the sides. So you have some orange pop there side here the top there and then of course on the front you do have that a separation of the orange and gray between the screen so it looks very nice so there's orange and let's do red and there's red and red looks pretty good it's kind of a red and black contrasting there have the uh phantom gray camera bump contrasting that color as well but like i said you got that red there with the black bolts and then of course the black sides match just like the white. So you got the black look there. Of course you have the front with the red and black there. So it looks pretty, pretty nice. MKBHD I'm sure would love the red black color. Uh, and then my favorite, let's do black. And there's black. And obviously if this is your first time to my channel, uh, then welcome, but uh, I am a huge fan of black. If this isn't your first time to my channel, then you know that. Black's my favorite color when it comes to cases, and that does not change with this. I started with the white black because I'm a big fan of like the old school Panda, like Google Pixel 2, uh, but with this one, uh, I think just the black is just a classic look, especially with the Phantom Gray there. But you got the black here with the black bolts there. Everything's black. So just literally everything is blacked out with this case. And obviously the front is as well. But uh, black definitely looks slick and looks really, really good on this particular case. So there you have it, guys. There is the actual lineup of the Vanguard cases for the Samsung Galaxy S21. So if you like this video, guys, please do me a huge favor and give it a big thumbs up. And if you really, 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 really like the video, then please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. I am almost at 2,000 subscribers, guys, so hopefully this video puts me over the top. Uh, so really big thank you and shout out to everyone who uh, has shown love. And uh, be safe, guys. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.